I'm John Skinner, and this supports Chapter 1 in my book, Fishing for Summer Flounder, Fluke Jigging from Shore Boat and Kayak, and you can learn more about the book at flounderbook.com. So Chapter 1 in the book deals a lot with fluke behavior. Fluke, also called uh, summer flounder in many parts of the country, I'll refer to them as fluke. Uh, so in Chapter 1, I'm focusing a lot on um, some behavior, especially the aggressive nature with which these fish strike. Because I think if you observe how they feed, um, it can give you some useful insights on how to approach uh, both you know, getting them to hit and reacting to the hits. One of my favorite things about fluke fishing uh, is that you can catch the fish in so many different environments. And that's what I do in the book is uh, I go right from the sand beaches to the, the bays, uh, shallow bays, wading sandbars, uh, kayak fishing in the bays, jetty fishing, even docks, um, right out to the deep ocean, going out and, and fishing reefs that are out in 85 feet of water. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it goes through all those different environments, which is you know, really one of the uh, more interesting things about fluke fishing. So this is a six inch bait strip. And you'll notice on, on those previous hits, they just take the whole thing in one shot. And I've watched a lot of this video, and sometimes I'll see what this one does. Is Go drop down beneath it and then come up, but still the end result is the same. It's one quick shot. So observing the way they hit impacts um, how I react to a hit. Now, the book is dedicated to uh, jigging with uh, bucktails, jigs, uh, gulp baits, and when I get a hit, as soon as I feel weight on, on the tip of the rod, I set the hook immediately. And uh, from observing these videos, uh, that's the way to go because most of the time they're going to have the hook in their mouth on the initial hit. When they don't, uh, what we're going to get to see is that they'll come back over and over again. Um, and a lot of times, and this is something we'll see later on in this video, if the hook pulls out of their mouth, they're just going to keep striking it. Now some of this video was shot um, where I had hook protectors on the hooks because I didn't want to catch the fluke on the camera rig. Um, so there will be times where the hook's going to come out of their mouth quite easily. So that one you know, obviously hit the camera. The other thing I wanted to point out uh, on this video is the aggressive nature of these fish. These are not brown blobs laying on the bottom. These are aggressive, nasty fish. Watch what this one's going to do. Yeah, it, it wants to eat that camera. Here it comes. So there you go. You're looking in right down the throat of this fluke. Uh, yeah, and the, you know the camera's like six inches long, a cylindrical black thing. Uh, doesn't look like something you'd think that a fluke was going to eat, but uh, boy, when they get worked up, they really strike hard. And that camera is a water wolf camera. So. While I'm filming this, I'm also bucktailing, and, and bucktailing is the normal way that I, I fish. Okay, he spit it, he's going to come right back. So, uh, you know, this plays into, I think it's just fine to do a very quick hook set, because if you miss him, it's going to come back. This guy's still looking for it. He looked at the camera, and there he grabs the bait. And we're going to see over and over. They spit it, they come right back if, if uh, you know, they're still not able to hold on to it. And you're going to see the bucktail rig. That's the normal way I fish. I don't usually fish bait strips. I'm doing that in this case uh, to get this video. It's unfortunately um, doesn't work out if you try to jig the camera or the video. It's going to be too bouncy. But you can see this guy has seen the bucktail rig. And even though he's got the bait in his mouth, uh, he wants to go over and get that bucktail. So yeah, sometimes people will think that you should drop back when you feel a, a hit, you know, play them some line or, you know, just, you know, give them a little slack to eat. And uh, no, nope, I, I, I don't see the point of that. Um, also, there were times people would use stinger hooks, which is a secondary hook to try to hook them if there was a large bait strip. And again, um, certainly doesn't look necessary. <laughs> And these bait strips are um, fluke strips cut from the, the fins of the fluke and uh, occasionally some sea robin strips as well.
And the jig head, it's like a floating jig head. It's actually called a fluke candy teaser. It comes from Jigging World in northern New Jersey. There you go. This thing is in the fluke's mouth. It's swimming away with it. Unbelievable. So now we're going to spend actually the rest of this video, which is about three and a half minutes, uh, on this one single fish. And to just note, how many times this fish is going to spit the bait, because it, it does have a hook protector. The bait's going to get spit. It's just going to come back. Uh, now it wants to have bucktail, even though it's got a hook in its mouth. The hook came out. Oh, he, he's going to come back and grab that. This fish is going to repeatedly um, have the bait pulled out of his mouth and just come back and get it. And this is the same fish that um, hit the camera and started swimming away with it. Okay, I'm going to do uh, minimal narrating from this point on. I'll let you just uh, sit back and uh, enjoy a couple minutes of the antics of this one particular fish. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel, and I encourage you to um, go to flounderbook.com to check out the book Fishing for Summer Flounder, Fluke Jigging from Shore, Boat, and Kayak. So it's kind of cool here. If you watch his eyes, you can see him looking around. You see those eyes moving around, looking around. You know, even though they're, um, you know, this is a flat fish with the two eyes on the same side of the body, the eyes stick up a little bit. So I think they probably have quite a good field of view and are able to see um, a, a lot more than might be obvious. <laughs> And after all of that, this fish is going to end up getting caught with a bucktail rig. <laughs> 